In Final Fantasy VII, there are a total of 24 different enemy skills that you can learn from various creatures throughout the game. Here's a little guide I've put together for the quickest method to acquire all of them. For a more in-depth guide, including other enemies that also use these enemy skills, check out the links in the video description. The first enemy skill you can learn is called Matra Magic and is used by these enemies known as Custom Sweepers outside of Midgard. The second enemy skill is called Level 4 Suicide and you can learn it from these creatures which are called Moos that look a little bit like squirrels in molehills. Be wary if your character's levels are multiples of 4 as they will be shrunk and hit with a lot of damage. Next enemy skill you can learn is called Flamethrower and you can learn it from these enemies known as Arc Dragons in the Mithril Mines. The next enemy skill requires a little bit of planning. First you need to have already learned level 4 Suicide and you need to buy some Mimic Greens. Feed them to a chocobo which is level 16 such as this one and then cast level 4 suicide on the chocobo. The chocobo will use chocobuckle on the person that cast level 4 suicide. In order to learn Beta from the Midgar Zolom at this very early stage in the game, I recommend you level up Eris until she learns Planet Protector Limit Break, have her use it, which will grant invincibility to all three party members, and then kick the shit out of the Midgar Zolom until it uses Beta. And for a quick way to end the battle, cast it right back. Another enemy skill that you can learn earlier than you might have thought is Aqualong. First you need to equip the Chocobo Lua Materia and walk around on the tracks outside of the Gold Saucer until you find this creature which is called a Harpy. Again Planet Protector might come in handy as Aqualong does a lot of damage. Now you have the Manipulate Materia, I recommend using it where you can. In the Coral Prison, you can manipulate these creatures known as Death Claws and have them use the enemy skill Laser. As soon as you get out of the Coral Prison, go back to Costa del Sol and drive the buggy up and down the beaches. Find a group of these creatures, which are called Beach Plugs, and manipulate them and have them cast Big Guard on the whole party. A very useful enemy skill. Go back across the sea to Junon on the cargo ship and look out for these creatures known as Zemelets. Manipulate them and have them use White Wind on the party. In the forest area outside of Gongaga Village, you'll find lots of these frog creatures which are known as Touch Me, and they use the enemy skill Frog Song. You don't really need to manipulate them as they use it a lot. I recommend you equip a white cape to prevent your party members from being turned into frogs. In the cave of the G, you can learn an enemy skill called Death Sentence from these creatures known as Sneaky Steps. Once they've used it on you though, make sure you can finish the battle within 60 seconds, otherwise the character that cast it on will die. In the Shinra Mansion, you can learn an enemy skill from these creatures called Jerseys. Do not attack them, because if you attack them, they will not use the enemy skill, which is called question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. When fighting the boss in Mount Nabel, the Materia Keeper, you can learn an enemy skill called Try. 
This is one of the few missable enemy skills in the game, as there are only three creatures that use it. This is the first chance you'll get to learn it. Once you've completed the optional quest in Wu Tai and got your materia back, walk up and down the beaches until you find these giant turtle creatures, which are called Adam and Time Eyes. Manipulate them and have them cast Death Force on the party. Also in the area outside Wu Tai, you can manipulate these Razor Weed enemies and have them cast Magic Hammer. Then cast it back on them to get your MP back. In the Gear Cliffs, this is your first chance at encountering a Malbro. You can also find them later in the game in the Northern Cave. They use the enemy skill Bad Breath, so I recommend equipping a ribbon or other accessories that protect you against status effects. Also in the Gear Cliffs, you can encounter these creatures known as Stilvers. They look like red versions of the Materia Keeper boss. They use the enemy skill Magic Breath. You can manipulate them, or just wait for them to use it on you. They're also an enemy that uses Trine, so if you miss Trine, get it now. As soon as you acquire the High Wind, fly into the northeast corner of the map to an island called Goblin Island, which is full of enemies called Goblins. And they use the enemy skill Goblin Punch. In the Northern Cave, you can encounter this enemy, the Dark Dragon, manipulate it, and have it use the enemy skill, Dragon Force. Next in the Northern Cave, manipulate one of these enemies, which is called a Parasite, and it will teach you the enemy skill, Level 5 Death. So make sure that your character's levels aren't multiples of 5, or cast Death Force enemy skill, or equip accessories that prevent against sudden death. Next in the Northern Cave, manipulate this enemy, which is called a Pollen Salter, and have it cast Angel Whisper. This enemy is called a Dragon Zombie, and due to a well-known bug in the game, this is a missable enemy skill. As a final attack, it uses the enemy skill Pandora's Box, but due to certain variables, it will only ever use it once, and only once. So equip, ideally Cloud, with all four enemy skill materials and have him be the one that delivers the final blow. And all four materials will learn the skill. Next in the Northern Crater, you can encounter these creatures called Death Dealers, you can manipulate them, or wait for them to use the attack normally. They use an attack called Roulette, which is another enemy skill that causes instant death, so take the previous precautions of accessories, death force, or just keep some Phoenix Downs handy. And the final enemy skill you can learn from Ultima Weapon. It's called Shadow Flare, and Ultima Weapon uses it as a final attack. So use the same strategy we did for Pandora's box, put all four enemy skill materials on Cloud and have him deliver the final blow.